The other day, I have covered many cults. Some end with a bang, others with a whimper, but they invariably end. The question is how much damage they leave in their roof. Is Mitch McConnell part of the Trump cult? Yes. Truth still matters. We have an incredible panel here in New York with me to talk about right-wing media's reaction and so much more. Uh, Nicole Hemmer, Dan Rather, Abigail Tracy. <laughs> Is that Dan Rather? With Brian Stelter on a show called Reliable Sources to discuss why truth matters? <laughs> Dan Rather's a liar. Brian Stelter's a liar. And why is this show called Reliable Sources? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, folks. My brain just had an overload, and I think it had to do a hard reboot. Can you blame it? This is some Twilight Zone-level schizophrenia going on here. We'll get right back to this Democrat Party propaganda, but let me just take a quick moment to thank this video's sponsor, PatrioticLegacy.com. PatrioticLegacy.com was nice enough to send me over one of these units so I could give you an honest review. I love this tactical flashlight. It's got everything you would ever need. Six overall lighting functions, escape features like the window hammer and the seatbelt cutter, solar charging so you don't need batteries, a power bank for charging your phone and other devices, and a removable compass with access to a personal safety alarm. Patriot Legacy supports veterans and YouTubers like yours truly. So head on over there and make sure to use the promo code DRONE20 to get 20% off your purchase. Thank you. In case you're sitting there in disbelief like I am, let me reiterate. That right there is a guy who actually tried to influence an election by presenting fraudulent documents just days before an election. He was trying to hurt Bush, the Republican, and help John Kerry, the Democrat. He's, he's on a show called Reliable Sources to discuss truth and facts. You are our senior correspondent today. You've been watching history along with the rest of us. Uh, do you feel that uh, anything changed after these first two days of televised hearings? Yeah, let's talk a little bit about history and the truth. Like I mentioned earlier, Dan Rather is most known for meddling in an election. He tried to take out the Democrats' political opposition, George Bush, and get John Kerry elected. The failure of CBS News to do just that, to properly, fully scrutinize the documents and their source, led to our airing the documents when we should not have done so. It was a mistake. You know what's more insane? They actually made a movie about this incident, and guess what it's called? Truth. There are growing concerns about how much actual truth will be presented to viewers in this movie. They do not get to do this. They do not get to smack us just for asking the question. Somebody has got to confirm those memos. Gee, fake news media lying to help Democrats? It's almost like that's a pattern we've noticed before. Also, take notice that they're accusing their opposition of what they're actively engaged in. Another pattern we talk about a lot on this channel. They claim to be so concerned about election meddling, and then they bring on a guy who's known for trying to meddle in an election. <laughs> Unreal. It's becoming increasingly uh, apparent that truth is closing in. Truth does matter. Which is exactly why you had to step down from your anchor position at CBS News because you put out a lie in hopes it would sway the election for Democrats. White House with this alternate narrative, a false narrative, and with its allies in primetime on Fox, was at least in a standoff with truth. Hmm. What the hell is he even talking about? How does he know what the truth is? It appears that Dan Rather didn't learn anything from his alleged mistake. He's doing the same thing now that he did then. He wants Trump to be guilty so bad that he's just willing to lie like he is right now. There's been no trial, so we don't actually know what the established facts are. You would need to have an investigation to find the facts. All we've done up to this point is have an inquiry where a bunch of people gave their opinions on Trump, not facts. You said the other day, I have covered many cults. Some end with a bang, others with a whimper, but they invariably end. The question is how much damage they leave in their wake. And I'm not the only one making this observation that increasingly President Trump's support seems cultish. 
It's more, it's all about him. It's not about the policy. It's is it just me or is Dan rather slurring his words and sounding kind of drunk? Now, of course, because the right constantly accuse the media and Hollywood of being an Obama cult, they now have to turn around and accuse us of the exact same thing. I pledge to be a servant to our president and all mankind because, because together, together we can, can together, together we are, and together, together we will be the change that we seek. And I'm not the only one making this observation that increasingly President Trump's support seems cultish. It's more, it's all about him. Wrong. It's not about Trump. You could replace Trump with any human being who stands up against the establishment and you'd have the exact same dedicated support. It's about standing up to the Democrats and their media. It has nothing to do with personality. We're just sick of letting you all get away with these double standards. And instead of acquiescing, we're fighting back in the exact same you all would if the roles were reversed. Uh, these cults, uh, it, cults generally don't end well. No, Dan, they don't. That's why the left, the Democrats, and their media have been losing their minds ever since November 15th, 2015. Your side is part of an ideological cult that can't handle the fact that there are many Americans, around half, who completely disagree with your beliefs and policies. That's exactly why you've been manufacturing conspiracy theories to explain it ever since. I have no doubt that a Trump victory in 2020 will send you all over the edge and I can't wait to see it. Well, that about wraps up this episode. If you enjoy my content and you want to support this channel, please consider supporting me on Subscribestar, Patreon, or PayPal. I'm also going to have channel memberships available here very soon, so keep an eye open for that. Thanks to all of you, especially those who continue to support me and keep coming back.